If you'd like to take a look at some of these outstanding videos in 4K HDR, go check out Jennifer Gala. And I'm going to leave you uh, some information down below so you can click on the link and go to her channel and check it out. Thanks for giving me permission to use these videos. And uh, these really get the most out of your 950G <clears throat> or any TV as, as far as that goes. These things are sensational. And uh, also I appreciate the uh, uncompressed video files you sent me as well. But with that said, this looks spectacular, guys on the 950G. As you can see, um, I started off with some dark video here because I know everybody always wants to see the black levels of the TV. We are so obsessed with black levels on a TV, it's just ridiculous. So I thought I'd start off with a little black levels myself here and let you guys check it out. Uh, the excellent star fields that Sony is known to bring out uh, with their excellent upscaling. Any flaws you see is, of course, my camera. I'm not using the best of camera equipment to represent her product. Once again, if you want the actual product, go check out uh, the link below. And, man, these things are sensational. Um, so many people out there trying to make decisions on which TV to buy, this, that, and the other. Um, if you want to, to take my advice, feel free to put down in the comment section what you're still looking at. We're getting close on Black Friday. But um, the 75 inch, I would have to say, I do like it slightly better than the 65 inch just because of the wide viewing angle. It was rumored to say that the contrast wasn't as good, but I'm here to tell you that's not the case. Um, it happened also, also with the Z9D. The 65 inch wasn't as good as the 75 inch and for reasons people don't know why. But for some reason, Sony always puts a lot of their this leather oomph so to speak into their 75 inch models i have no idea why i'm finding out right now why but um yeah so i'll play in a little bit bright scenes for you so you can check that out as well okay decided to stay with dark because just remember my camera is only set up at this point to take advantage of the tv set in its dark mode because we know it's we have to accept the exposure and all that good stuff um, to make sure we could get the best out of the TV set and if I switched it to a another scene I'd have to actually cut this video off and um, make another one so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a dark one and then we'll do a bright one as well and obviously this is a dark scene with a little bit of brightness in it and this is another one of her outstanding uh, videos as well that once again click on the link below to take a look at and um, Man, these things really just bring out the beauty of your television set. And like I said, it doesn't even have to be a 950G. Um, it could be, uh, what comes to my mind with something like this, of course, would be OLED as well. Or any LED with full array backlighting um, that doesn't bloom. <laughs> so, but I'm just really digging this, uh, this set. And... Um, I don't, I'm lost for words with the 75 inch. Um, it's just, uh, I, I, it's, at some times I just think to myself, wow, I, I really didn't make any sacrifices uh, switching over from the 65 inch LG C7 to this TV at all. And um, it all depends on you as a person, what you like. And like I said, there's not gonna be any TV out there that's going to be 100% exactly what you want for every bit of content you throw at it. It's just the way it's going to be. But yeah, I just wanted to, um, you know, kind of share this with you guys, let you check out some of the great videos that uh, Jennifer has and uh, give her some props for giving me the um, approval to use them. So you'll see more of her videos on my channel as well. And uh, you guys take care. Any comments, leave them below. And uh, thank you guys for the great community.